Hey everybody, it's Tommy with a Better Time LLC. We got another Omega for you today. This is a um, another Omega Seamaster, uh, vintage, obviously, as most everything we do is. Uh, beautiful watch. If you see the uh, dial there, really, really in amazing shape, and the case on this is really nice as well. Um, this is so you got the hippocampus. That would be the hippocampus. Uh, it's got the winding uh, crown, also has the uh, Omega on it. So this is signed absolutely everywhere you can sign on the watch. Um, the uh, case back, amazingly, no one has ever scratched trying to take the back off. My biggest pet peeve in the entire world. When people grab knives or screwdrivers or just any kind of bad things to try to take the back off of a watch. But uh, fortunately, this never happened on this. Um, so it's uh, really really a great opportunity to own a gorgeous gorgeous seamaster the only uh, problem with this watch you got a little bit of um of pitting from years of people wearing this uh it is 14 karat gold filled so uh it retains it's the gold everywhere there's no place this gold is wearing off or anything else but that little bit of pitting right near the hippocampus and a slightly slightly dented in in the back which Unfortunately, you see on a lot of the um, the Omega stuff from the 50s and some of the stuff from the 60s, the, the case backs were just a little bit thin, and you kind of notice on some of them that um, they'll dent in a little bit. But uh, overall, this watch is in amazing condition and uh, comes on a nice leather strap. This is a, um, a watch that you can get into basically for a song, $995. You can also make us an offer. But uh, for under $1,000, you're getting a uh, beautiful vintage um, Omega. The, uh, the dial is like a champagne color, and it has um, gold indices. But when you look at that, I mean, honestly, does that watch look to you like it's 50 or 60 years old? Not to me. Not to me at all. So that is another of the um, Seamasters. Got a lot of Seamasters in the collection right now. But uh, that is one that you can get into for under $1,000. And uh, start if you want to start collecting vintage with a great brand, you really can't go wrong with Omega. Um, and, you know, a lot of people collect a ton of different stuff. I personally, I, uh, you know, in my collection, I have a uh, an absolute ton of watches. I've got a kind of a love affair with, um, with vintage Bulova. And... Um, vintage uh lawn jeans as well but um so i kind of center on those two but i have i mean i have rolexes i have omegas i have a, a ton of different things but uh for some people to center in on one thing if you're going to start collecting and start building a, uh, a collection of vintage you can't go wrong with omega you can't go wrong with um, with certain brands because they're never going to be worth less than you bought it for ever ever I mean, these watches do just continue to go up in value, and it gives you an opportunity to own something vintage and beautiful. Hold on to it, pass it down, do whatever you do, but the value of these watches are going up every single day, people. No joke. Um, it's the first business I've ever been in in my life where, you know, every uh, every couple of weeks or, you know, a month, if a watch hasn't sold, a lot of times you're going back and not lowering the price but raising it because the market is just continuing to go up and up and up in, uh, in vintage watches. So that is a uh, an Omega Seamaster and uh, under $1,000. You will see pictures of that, um, much better close-up shots of that, and uh, you'll also see the uh, the profile of it, what it looks like um, on Noah's wrist. All right, I am Tommy with Better Time LLC, and we will see you on the next watch. God bless.